Kaba semua. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight and welcome to a brand new episode of the Kaba Bai Show with me Chris MJ. And how is it the end of January already? We are entering the second month of 2021 and if you're watching from Malaysia, we are heading into our final week of MCO tentatively. Now, some of you may have been wondering, MCO go use one meh, huh? Cases still so high. Well, if you could direct your attention to this little chart I made using PowerPoint, on the 23rd of January, we had a record high of new COVID cases at 4,275. But wait, we also recorded 4313 recoveries. On the 24th, there were 3346 new cases and 4427 recoveries. 25th January, 3048 cases and 3,648 recoveries. Now, what we are looking at here is a daily deficit of active cases during the course of this past week. All this to say, yes, MCO got use one. Even in the midst of all the negativity and bad news, lucky for me, there was still enough good news to get me through the week. Now, while not everyone can afford to buy ridiculous amounts of cool fever packs just to waste it in a failed attempt to chase clout, just recently a woman got caught trying to shoplift a few of them from the shelves of a hypermarket. Having just lost a job as a babysitter due to the MCO and her repairman husband also not receiving many requests recently, their family was tight on cash and really needed the cool fever packs for her youngest kid who was down with a fever. Now the guards who caught her filed a police report. But in a twist of fate, Petaling Jaya District Police Chief Nick Ezani Muhammad Faisal, well he has something else in mind. The policeman who arrived at her doorstep later in the day came bearing a care package from the Social Welfare Department along with essential household goods to assist her family during this trying period. Officer Nick also encourages everyone to remember that before you complain regarding traffic jams, roadblocks or restrictions, there are people who are struggling way worse than that. On to more shining examples of humanity, you've heard of Bobo Boy, but have you heard of Burger Boy? Burger Boy is a burger food truck owned by Mohammad Kosim Ismail and he is offering free burgers daily during the MCO primarily to help those who are in a tough financial spot. 30-year-old Kosim who hails from Klantan said those in need could approach him or his assistant for the free burgers from 2 to 8 p.m. Now it's not only limited to chicken or beef. Kosim has more than 90 burger varieties consisting of egg, chicken, beef, lamb, rabbit, prawn and fish and you can order whatever you want. Sepanjang PKP ni ramai yang terkesan Sebab itulah saya Bantu yang mana boleh Terjejas tu semua orang terjejas Kita sedekah pun insyaAllah rezeki tu Akan berkali ganda Yang penting kita ikhlas Not only that, this act of kindness Has inspired other Malaysians Kosim said generous individuals Would also call him to prepare burgers To be donated to places of their choice now, his store is located at Jalan PJU 5 Stroke 3, Dataran Sunway. So, if you want to pay it forward and donate some burgers, you know where to find him. And just when we thought that there couldn't possibly be any more Kaba by this week, a human resources manager at Caltex has given a homeless man a ray of hope after hiring him as a car washer at the Bachang branch in Melaka. Now, here's the full story beautifully illustrated by Devan Doodles. So a police officer, a burger seller, and a HR manager. Three people, three acts of kindness was enough to make a huge impact. 
Now, can you imagine if each of us does just one random act of kindness? How amazing that would be. That is all the time we have for this week. Do you have some cover bite to share? Do DM me on Instagram, drop it down in the comments below or tweet it because really, I don't want to miss out on any. Last but not least, good news are meant to be shared so if you are sharing this online, don't forget to hashtag Kaba Bite. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight ladies and gentlemen on the Kaba Bite show. I'm Chris MJ, have a blessed weekend and see you next time everyone.